So I picked up a little um, head-up display for the Fortuna. I got this off eBay. It was like just a cheapie, uh, around 42 bucks delivered to the door. So I'm not expecting too much, but we'll um, see how it goes. Let's see what's in the box. Power cable. Uh, it's the big USB. Hmm. And cigarette lighter. Okay. Some instructions. And the unit itself. Not very big. That just sits on the dash and shines up onto the windscreen. Might put some uh, Velcro on the bottom. Stick to my dash mat then. I've got a little round pad. And apparently this is optional, but you can put this on your windscreen where it shines up onto the windscreen, if that makes sense. Um, it says try it without it. And then uh, if it doesn't work or you get double reflections, you can use this. So that's what we've got. We'll go and try and install it and see how it goes. Okay, a little demo of the heads up, head up display. You can see it in green over there in the corner. It um, doesn't work uh, in car parks underground. You need to have a uh, GPS signal to make it work. So as soon as you go into a car park or into a tunnel, it uh, goes to zero, basically. Uh, it's pretty accurate. It has uh, an adjustment at 100 kilometers an hour. You can dial it up to 102 or 3 or 4. You can adjust it to be a percentage out. And that works all the way through the uh, speed range. What else? It's got auto dimming. Which I must turn on because it's a bit bright here, but it's not so not so sunny. Seems pretty accurate. There is a maybe a couple of second delay. I guess while it gets the GPS signal and uh, does all the calculations, it takes a couple of seconds to do that. So you're, it's got to allow a couple of seconds for it to catch up to you if you're accelerating or decelerating. I've put the little plastic film on there because uh, it seemed to be blurry without it. But uh, with a little plastic film on the windscreen, I'll give you a little pad to put there. And that seems uh, nice and clear now. I'm thinking not too bad for um, 40 odd dollars from eBay. There are better ones out there, so if you like this kind of thing. It's got um, warnings too, if you go over 60 an orange light comes on and there you go, 61 a little light came on. Then at 70 another light comes on and I think 80 and get to 100 and the buzzer goes off but you can turn the buzzer off. Over 100 I think the buzzer comes off but you can uh, turn the sound off so you don't get that. up I think I'm liking it at this stage it's also got a uh, compass you can see on the uh, red light on the far right um, it says I'm heading south now below the red thing's a little s probably can't read it from that far away but uh, it says I'm heading south now I'm heading southwest the south and the west have come up now I'm heading west need to know which direction you're heading that's very helpful uh, I think the top left hand tells you whether you got GPS signal or not um, it's fairly quick but when you start it yeah, maybe 30 seconds pick up GPS signal and start displaying so 
it from outside, you don't really see anything. 